So I'm uh, Professor Nick James. I'm a clinical oncologist at the University of Birmingham and at University Hospitals Birmingham uh, in the UK. The Stampede trial is a very large program. Of, it's a collection of trials, really. So we've reported one set of new data this year and a further analysis of data we presented last year. They were both back to back in one of the plenary sessions at ESMO a couple of weeks ago. And um, so the first bit of data we presented was looking a reanalysis of the Aberasherin data. So when we presented our data from Avarashrin in newly diagnosed metastatic cancer last year, we showed the data for the metastatic patients as a single group. Um, that was presented alongside data from the uh, Latitude trial, uh, which Karim Fizazi presented, and that was just only men with high-risk disease. So it means that we didn't, although we assumed that the effect was likely to be similar in men with low-risk disease, we formally didn't know exactly whether it would be the same or you know, different. And the second thing we didn't know is what proportion of men would be low risk as opposed to high risk. So, so the two important findings were that the effects were almost identical in terms of the hazard ratio for low risk and high risk disease. The, the absolute benefits are smaller simply because the outcomes are better in low risk disease. We also now know that it means that 40% of men are ineligible for abiraterone on the basis of the license. So we're very keen that, uh, that, that, you know, that this data is used to extend the license potentially, and certainly to extend the use, because otherwise 40% of men are liable to miss out on an effective treatment. So that was the first bit of data we presented. The second bit of data um, was from the arm comparing local treatment with radiotherapy plus standard systemic therapy with systemic therapy alone. So uh, over 2,000 men were randomized equally between those two arms. And we had two outcomes that we were showing. The first was failure-free survival, the second was overall survival. So for the whole trial, uh, failure-free survival was improved by local radiotherapy by about 25%, but there was no impact on overall survival in the whole group. However, um, we had a pre-specified analysis where we split the men into low metastatic burden and high metastatic burden, essentially up to four metastases, five or more metastases was rough, pretty much the split. And what we found is that when we, start, when we now look at failure-free survival, there was a much bigger effect in the low-volume patients than in the high-volume patients, where there was only a weak effect. When we looked at survival, the, um, uh, there was no effect on survival in the high-risk patients, consistent with the entire trial result, but there was a, a substantial effect on survival in the low-risk patients, uh, low-volume patients, um, who comprise about 40% of the men in the trial overall, um, as with the Abrasheron analysis. So our conclusion from this was that uh, you should not give radiotherapy to the primary in men with high volume metastatic disease because it had a, a modest effect on, on failure free survival and no effect on overall survival, but that you should give radiotherapy to the primary to men with low metastatic burden. And that was our conclusion. We think it should change clinical practice. Um, we're, we're very confident it has already changed clinical practice in the UK because we disseminated the results to our own investigators um, prior to presenting and publishing the data and we know anecdotally that pretty much everybody said, right, we're just going to do this. Now, uh, worldwide, um, it's harder to know. Uh, there's been significant pushback from American surgeons in particular who say this does not change the standard of care and they, th they say we need to do further trials. I have to say we don't agree with that. We, we have our trial plus the HORAD trial, um, a smaller trial, but basically showed qualitatively the same result and we're about to publish a meta-analysis of the two trials which support our conclusions. So our view is we have two randomized trials, one with a pre-specified analysis, the other with an exploratory analysis showing the same effect in the same subgroup of men with low volume disease. We think this is very convincing data and it's a low cost, easy to implement treatment. Any radiotherapy department can do this.